。你是有多久没有自己单独出外了？应该是有一年多了时间，因为我手术过后不能走路，全部是家人推轮椅，我才能出门。One of my biggest fears is falling seriously ill and affecting my loved ones. But is it really impossible to care for myself if I'm sick? To find out more, I'm shadowing Sheena, an occupational therapist who will be assisting Mr. Bian. 所以扁先生，你要做的就是 S 型向前，我们要把它的范围缩小， okay. 因为平常我们的电梯的门或者我们去巴萨、嗯，它的空间可能没有那么大。OK。What's the purpose of him going through this training? The main focus of what we do is to maintain his function. As an occupational therapist, we definitely look at the various aspects in terms of his environment, what his routine is like. He still wants to be able to cope with his day-to-day -day living, and that's why we want to support him to do it in a very safe manner. So, being able to go out in the community on his own, that's going to be something that he will really be looking forward to. Our vision is to achieve that. Aya, you fell down the stairs. 好，没关系，我们再试看看。So can you imagine if that was a someone's feet? Right. 我们要往后退，然后你要回到这里原点。这个这个好难度太高了。我们试看看 ，OK， 在那个位置比较宽阔，你应该可以的。要相信自己。我相信你，是可以的。加油。So how did you and Mr. Bian have such a good rapport? Uh, I think Mr. Bay has come as a person who's very willing to share about his condition since whatever he has went through since 2018 till last year. So it actually didn't take too long for me to actually connect with him and get to understand him as a person. This Is it 什么时候发现你必须要坐轮椅的？就是因为我呃之前那个肾癌转移到脊椎骨，做了手术以后，发现自己不能走路。你当时的心情是如何？有很强烈那种欲望了，啊，就是很羡慕，呃，别人会走路的人。通常就说人没有失去一种功能的话，你没有这种感觉。但一旦你失去了以后，你才知道这是很强烈的那个差异。So even if he is like you know struggling, he will still push us through and finish it. Hmm, he's actually someone who is very determined. Even though you know it does hit him after he knows about. Him having cancer, but he started to look up about what cancer is all about, what the treatment options. So he's very focused in what he wants. Okay, ready. You can use your side view. Side view should let you know. Today is your first time to go out. Yes, 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 yes. What is your goal? The most important thing is that you go out and eat. The most important thing is that you go out and eat. The most important thing is that you go out and eat. The most important thing is that you go out and eat. The most important thing is 或者是做一些娱乐活动啊。So usually when you guys are outdoors, right? What are the things that you look out for? We will be looking out in terms of his safety awareness. 注意啊！注意注意注意！你根本没有看右边，好不好？这干嘛？他已经，他已经死了。刚想走了。OK。我通常像，呃，海带啊、木耳啊，然后我来付账了。啊，不要不要不要不要不要不要不要！没有客气。哇，很大碗呢，当场吃的感觉。对，吃的感觉很好啊。感觉很好。你的笑容也很多哎。哇哇哇！小心小心，哎对，谢谢啊。其实最给他另外一个考验是一边拿冰淇淋一边加食，一边吃 ice cream， 然后一边加。是啊，对。对，人生一大挑战，真的是超大的考验了。今天
。你今天感觉如何？我们这样出来吃冰淇淋，很很爽，很爽了。冰淇淋表现是最特别的一次。我们刚才聊到，就是对死亡的恐惧，你是如何克服这个障碍？啊，我是还好，对我的打击不是那么大，但是我会觉得对我的家人打击是蛮大，因为啊，他们会觉得啊，要失去一个亲人，对不对？因为什么？现在一直是疼痛，啊，每天你要吃很多药，然后就你真的感觉你是个病。来到这边，然后我就知道哦，这些都是那个治疗的一个部分，就让你、啊、就是心情放松。如果我说你现在想要独立，一方面是要让你家人减轻他们的负担。从出生那一刻开始，你就是走向死亡，或者是面对死亡。昨天就有一个病人，他说我每天醒过来，我能。行动，今天我又赚到了，我也一样。得了晚期癌症的时候，也是医生跟你讲，继续发展严重的话，就是大概一年左右的时间，啊。那你现在大，已经？我现在已经五年。然后是往旁边斜的这边，因为人家会这样子这样出来，然后你在新的环境，速度减低。I realize how emotionally taxing this job is. So how do you carry on? At the start, coming to palliative care has definitely been a little bit more challenging. The truth is, it may not be really a progress that we always see because the disease progress. My way of coping, I enjoy looking at my patients' photos and looking at how they were at daycare or bring them out. I think. That's why I wanted to be in the healthcare scene to begin with, because I know that whatever I do would help someone. I noticed when Mr. Bian was sharing with you about how he managed to change his outlook on that, he was just listening and acknowledging. So being an OT is really way more than just get our training done, check that boxes, and they're done. So that, that was one side that I managed to witness, and I felt it was, it was pretty awesome. I think it's really all about enabling living, and there are very different aspects and dimensions to living. Sometimes what they really want is to for you to be there and listen to them. And I think a very part of my role is to empower that living in them. I do relate to the helping them to reintegrate into the community part because. I do feel a sense of happiness and joy when I see Mr. Bian just going full speed on his, you know, motorized wheelchair and enjoying ice cream. <laughs> yeah, true, true. The ice cream part, and you can do it one hand. I mean, look at how they're still able to shine with whatever capabilities, whatever strength that they have. I, I, I think that's that's really nice to see. So with Mr. Bian, I do hope to see him achieve. I think it goes back to why we started this journey with him as well. You know, going back for his hospital appointments, or to be able to just enjoy his favorite food in the hawker center, and that's really amazing when you see, uh, or maybe more like I'm playing that role in helping them to be back into the community if they still can. Do you have any words of encouragement or advice to give to those who are looking to start a journey in this career? Whether you know as a student or when you become a full-fledged therapist, I feel that the heart to serve has to be there. It does take a lot more patience, a lot more compassion to be in this field. It's a long-term learning journey.